Hey, welcome back to another video and in this video what I'm going to do is a benchmark test of 2015 MacBook Air in 2020 because you guys asked for this thing it's been a long time so let's go and do the benchmark test and let's see how will 2015 MacBook Air works in 2020 because a lot of people are still buying 2015 MacBook Air or even 2017 MacBook Air they both are same you guys want to see the benchmark and that is the reason here is my benchmarking test and here you can see I have downloaded four apps number one is Blackmagic Speed Test number two is Cinebench Number three is Geekbench 5 and the final one is GFX Benchmark that I have never tried but still for you guys I'm gonna do test all of them. So let's start with Blackmagic Disk Test. Let's start the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test and it is rolling. And here is the writing speed, here is the read speed. So let's see how well they perform. And as you can see the write speed is 670 megabyte per second so that is very good and the read speed is 1429 megabytes per second so the speed disk speed of this 2015 macbook air or even 2017 macbook air is very very impressive because this speed is more than enough for any kind of work if you are doing video work if you are doing photo editing audio specialists anything this speed is going to be more than enough for you guys all right that was the disk speed test let's go for next one and as you can see my macbook air is 2015 macbook air two core four threads 1.6 gigahertz and it is OS X version like I'm using the macOS Mojave I'm not using the Catalina because macOS Catalina is a little slow that's the reason I'm using the Mojave still Catalina is in development not properly okay that's the reason I use Mojave because it gives me a better speed so let's go and run the speed test and I'll be back after the speed test finishes because it takes a little long time all right after a while the benchmark test is finished right now and cinebench test result are in front of you guys and as you can see the cpu is 620 p test i really don't know what is this thing but if you know what is this thing you're not going to satisfy with this thing because the test result as i can see from this place is number 11 as you can see here number 11 that was the cinebench test let's go okay right now we are inside of geekbench 5 and let's test the benchmark of geekbench 5 on this 2015 macbook Air. let's go and run the cpu benchmark let's see how long the does it take because I think it is going to take a little while so I'll be back after the test finishes because it is gonna take a little long time and I just don't want to make the video super long so I'll be back after the test okay I'm so surprised seeing that this Geekbench 5 is taking very less time I was thinking that it is going to take very long time like 10 to 15 minutes but it took only three minutes for the Geekbench to finish the test and here are the result in front of you guys and here as you can see the single core score is 694 and the multi core score is 1433 so that is not really good at all because if you really care about the benchmarks then it is not going to satisfy you let's go and do the final test if I can edit photos on this thing, if I can edit videos on this thing, if I can uh, use Photoshop properly on this thing or even if I can use Final Cut Pro X on this thing, even if I can do HTML, CSS or JavaScript programming on this thing properly or even if I can use Xcode on this properly and from my real world performance I have to say that I can use pretty much every single apps without having any issues so I don't have a lot of complaints about this MacBook Air 2015 although that was the benchmark and these are the benchmarks going on if you really care about the benchmark i think i should say that if you want to get this device now it is very cheap at the time when i get this thing it was one thousand dollar but it is very cheap right now if you want you can get it without any issues you can uh, use pretty much every single apps a little slow but it is usable though if you want to use like heavy applications 3d rendering adobe premiere pro then you cannot do so but if you want to use photoshop final cut pro x some little bit of email or other things like that then you can get this device because the battery life on this device is super all right let's go and test the gfx bench gfx benchmark is not working it's been a very long time it is not working it is doing this random things i really don't know about this thing but it, i just don't want to scratch my head and peel all my hairs let's exit this thing because i'm not feeling good with this thing it is taking a hell long time gfx benchmark is not good at all it does a lot of issues that's is the reason i just dropped this thing right now but those are the speed test black magic cinebench and geekbench 5 on macbook air 2015 all right that is all goodbye